Before we get into shooting nitro, can I ask you a couple uh, a couple uh, folklore questions about CA? Sure. Um, keeping it in the refrigerator, good. Only Not good? until it's open. After okay. it's open, don't put it back, and I'll explain to you why. Okay. Cyanoroc adhesives work. There's hydroscopic, which means they draw moisture from the atmosphere to cure. So what it really is, what you're looking at when you look at a CA is a polymer so it's basically random molecules like this you know just kind of scattered all over the place and when you you when you shoot accelerator or you allow the, it to extract moisture from the air to cure what's happening is those um, um uh, molecules are lining up and then it becomes rigid so that's what's happening technically and so um if you um have a bottle that you've opened up already, you've now introduced moisture into the system. Like it or not, the bottle's open, um, temperature, um, variances uh, in pressure in the room, uh, humidity, all get things to go in and out of that bottle, whether you see it or not or whatever. So now you've got moisture in there and if you put it back in the refrigerator, it's going to start to cure the product. So once you open it, no. Before you open it, yes. And okay. the, the tips, the tips we give whip tips and extended tips along with our bottles, those don't go in the refrigerator either because they'll retain moisture. They'll get condensation inside of it. When you go to use them, you're going to have issues. Can I ask you another thing about, about the moisture? Um, I, I had issues uh, wet sanding uh, fill and finish. I, I dry sand my fill and finish like almost kind of religiously at this point? Like, is there an issue with wet sanding? No, we haven't seen that. It may not have been okay. fully drying. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a thing. One thing about this product is you're better off using less, letting a layer dry and putting another layer than slopping it on and waiting. Mm -hmm. Because even if it feels dry on top, it's a slow drying product. And even if you use the accelerator, so here's an interesting thing. When you use the accelerator, right? So what I was explaining to you before about the random molecules and they're lining up. So picture the, if the, if the film finishes on a surface, it's not gonna be laying evenly, exactly flat. There is gonna be somewhat of a mound in there, right? So parts of it are gonna be thicker and then others all across the substrate. So now when you spray the accelerator, the accelerator goes on the top. So the first thing that cures is what's on top. You get a crust. The problem is, yes, the problem is what's underneath. And because film finish is a very slow drying product, what we recommend is you shoot it once with the accelerator, you wait a couple of times, you shoot it again, and maybe a third time. And the reason for that, you don't need much, but you need to do that because the stuff that's underneath, it's gonna cure, but it's gonna take longer. So what happens is you got this chain reaction happening on the top, and now this chain reaction starts to converge towards the center because it's a chain reaction things are happening in sequence. So it starts to do this and then it starts to cure. So the stuff that's in the very center is the stuff that always concerns me. So I got guys that they go, oh, can I do a drop fill and just slop it in and shoot it in one, you know, one shot with the accelerate. And I'm like, do not do that. You can do it, it may work, but it may not because if there are conicals in the wood and the product gets in there, you don't know if those are gonna be dry. So do it in sections, let it catalyze, you know, let it let it polymerize, then do another layer, let it polymerize, you know, let it, and you'll get you'll get better results. And you shouldn't have any problem wet sanding that. So when I when I do uh you know, like if I'm doing a wiping finish, I usually I usually spray kicker on my paper towel, wipe the area with that first, and right. then I wipe my my uh CA on there. That's a great um, idea. But I, I was I, worried when you did that at Main Drag when we did that video that uh -huh. time. That got me scared. I was like, what's he doing? He's, you know, because I'm thinking like a scientist. I'm thinking, oh my God, if he does that, now when he drops the product, it's going to immediately dry. But you understood the viscosity and yeah, that you understood that it dried slow. So you were able to manipulate yeah, it. Yeah, you that play, was. You got you to gotta practice with that, you know. Um, it is, or you'll, <laughs> or you'll glue your paper towel to your project, which is kind of fun, you know. Like, <laughs> I think. Uh, yeah, that's how kids make pinatas. I think we can we can make some uh, guitar pinatas, but the uh, but yeah, so that 
the 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 kicker before before glue i think is one of the ways i kind of uh bump up that uh yes that cure, curing from the inside because yeah if you if you put like a dollop on there and you kick the outside of course only the outside of, of the uh of the dollop is seeing the and it will eventually cure but it's going to be right. you're going to have a, a gumdrop on the inside for a little bit right and and that you say that now I remember that's one of the things that we recommend in our instructions if it, uh, deeper ones, you know, either clean the area with, you know, on a paper towel with some accelerator, wipe it in. Uh, so not only getting debris, you're also taking off dirt and whatever else is there. So getting back to shooting lacquer over the top of it, sure. I mean, it, it is catalyzed, correct? The, the CA is catalyzed, but I feel like part of, Part of what's happening is that the solvents from the lacquer are actually biting into the CA. Am I am I wrong about that, or is it still open enough to accept the solvents from the from the lacquer? I think that there's some truth to that. I think that there is some bite happening, and I think that what's going on is the. Um, the solvents and the lacquer are, are what, what are really doing. Okay. Right 